You're watching the Google Pixel 4a 5G disassembly. Let's go ahead and remove that SIM tray. The screen has to be removed first, and in order to do that, we have to apply heat using a hairdryer or a heat gun so we can loosen up the adhesive around the screen's frame, and then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the screen off. And one more thing to note, you need to get your pry tool in between the glass and the plastic border of the screen. So once you have the screen loose from the frame, you're going to lift it up and away from the frame, like so. And your cable for the screen is still attached, so you're going to have to disconnect that. There's a tape over here you have to peel off. There's also a cover over the connector we need to remove. Now we can disconnect the cable. So here's your screen. Now that we have the screen removed, we can see a large sheet of copper tape, which is on top of the midframe. And there are nine Torx T4 screws holding down the midframe, which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, you're going to put your pry tool in between the midframe and the housing of the phone, and you're going to separate the catches. Now once the housing is loose from the midframe, you're going to flip it over and you're going to lift it up from the bottom up. You have some cables over here connected still, which you need to disconnect. There are 10 more T4 screws which need to be removed. Now we can lift up and remove this metal cover. Here's a better look at that metal cover. Now it's time to disconnect the battery cable. Once we have that disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. So here's your back housing, and it is plastic. You have your fingerprint reader over here. There's the cable for it. You have this flex cable over here, which leads to your secondary mic over here on top, as well as the flash over here for the cameras. And you also have numerous antenna contact points, which are these gray lines around the housing. You also have the two contacts over here for the NFC antenna right there. You can see the outline. And there's a large graphite film over here on the back, which helps transfer heat. And when you peel the graphite film back, you can see the NFC antenna, which is a rectangular piece over here. And on the bottom of the housing where the speaker opening is and where the mic opening is, there are mesh filters. All right, continuing with the disassembly, we have a wire cable over here we need to disconnect. Just pop it off. And then we can lift up and remove the speaker assembly. So here's your speaker assembly, and there's a small board over here, which seems to be an antenna board right next to it. It's a separate piece. Next, there's a protective tape over here, which needs to be peeled off so we can remove the front facing camera. Now it's time to disconnect the headphone jack. And we have one more protective film over here, which needs to be peeled off. That's sitting on top of the earpiece speaker. We're left with one more flex cable over here on the bottom. And once that's connected, you have a few catches around the main board holding it down. So here's the main board. There's copper tape on top of the shields. And with the shields removed, we can see a little bit of thermal paste, which was over here on the shields. 
which sit on top of some of the chips. Now here's a look at the back of the board. We have your primary microphone located over here. Your charger port is located over here and it's connected with a flex cable. So you can disconnect that by popping it off. Here's your charger port. The cables for your cameras are located on the top. You can just disconnect them by popping them off. Your proximity sensor is located over here. And you have more copper tape located over here on top of this shield. And once you remove the shields on this side, you can see there's a thermal pad over here. And there's one over here which goes on top of the processor. And one over here which goes on top of the memory. So back to the mid-frame, we have more copper tape over here which sits underneath the board. We have your battery of course. Your vibrator motor is located over here. You have this flex cable over here. Which runs along the side over here. And it's for your volume keys and power button. Now as far as removing the battery goes, on this side, where you have this cutout is in copper tape, if you pull those off, there are adhesive pull tabs underneath which you can pull to release the battery. These aren't the most friendly pull tabs. Once you have those adhesive strips removed, you can just lift up and remove your battery. Here's a better look at your battery. And here's the mid frame. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once you have everything back in place, apply new adhesive and then reapply your screen. And then power on your phone and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.